What's going on YouTube? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys an unstructured video. So I'm not even sure how the thumbnail is gonna look, but I'm gonna jump right into my 2K23 folder. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about Reshade. Now, if once you re, not reinstall, but once you install Reshade into your, uh, into your game directory, if you've ever, install reshade before and you have another game like i have nba 2k22 i have like reshade and the original reshade files down there and then is that the only reshade files they have yeah 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 all the rest of these are actually like presets these should all just be presets like different types of reshade effects stuff like that so once you install reshade you can actually copy these copy these reshade effects over to another game so i like i have some that i share between nba 2k22 and 23 i have some that i share between nba 2k20 and 23 so all i would have to do is just paste it in but as you're going to see i already have those files and they're right here and then these are some of my other reshade things but anyway um i guess i could pull up the game and show you guys real quick hopefully you guys get an understanding so let me repeat this for those of you that are kind of new okay if you've ever installed reshade the program before and you already set up your like the presets that you want to use the settings within reshade you got your game looking exactly how you want it to look then you can copy those presets over to another folder that you install reshade to okay the program reshade you install it with a specific game and then you can copy over your previous presets from another game okay and then once this game comes up i'm going to quickly show you how you can change um the presets and the reason why i'm doing this video is because i'm getting questions i've received questions a few times about how to um use the reshade or how to well, most recently the question i got was how do i take somebody had a screenshot of 2k22 they said how do i take my 2k22 reshade settings that look like this and they had a screenshot and put them in 2k23 because 2k23 looks like this and it didn't look anything like the 2k22 um reshade settings that they had so once you get in game and everything loads up all you have to do is press the home button okay once you press that home button i'm gonna click okay oh let me get off of this real quick I thought I had my controller plugged up, but I don't know. My controller is not working right now. But anyway, once you get over here and you have everything set up as far as like installing Reshade, again, you just copy over the files to this specific folder. And then when you get in the game, press home and you can change. You can change right here is where you change the um which which kind of reshade display you have so like i'll show you real quick um matter of fact it'd be better if i go over to like create a player or something oops ah this will work let's just go to edit player all right so this is actually a reshade because you see the background is kind of blurred out now if i go home i have a I have a reshade setting that's just called no reshade. And so this is what it normally looks like. And again, you can you can go through these all your little reshade settings and it'll just let your game look different. OK, some of you don't know that you can do this and I'm just telling you that you can. Again, so watch the video from the beginning. And you'll kind of understand what I was saying. All right. So as you can see, the game just continues to look different again. So I want to show you guys what I was saying. 
I was saying that you can copy these, all these settings that I was just showing you in game. You can copy them from an old game to this game. So hopefully you guys understand that this was an unstructured video. I am the goods on YouTube. I'm giving you guys.